Hello everybody and welcome back to your day two of your week three of Hatha Yoga. All right, we're gonna get started. So I'd like for you to come down to the mats in the middle, <clears throat> or a little towards the back. We're gonna come into child's pose. So bring those knees and feet together, sitting on the heels, walking the arms forward, dropping that forehead down, resting the head. And we're gonna take those nice deep breaths as you inhale and exhale out. So letting the elbows drop, forehead resting on the mat, letting the chest just rest onto the thighs. And as we hear, I want you to think about those deep breaths. Nice deep inhale, long exhale out. Finding that Ujjayi breath. And now begin to walk those arms forward to where they're extended out in front of you, reaching, elbows are lifted, palms facing down. Feeling that good stretch through the backs of your back, kind of where the lats are. Lengthening through the spine, pushing the hips back so you're feeling that stretch pulled down and back behind you as well as pulling in front. So opposite ends, pulling in opposite directions as we breathe here. And as we focus on each intentional breath, thinking about how your body's presenting today, today what's showing up in your body and honoring that but also setting your intention for your class got a few more breaths here sometimes too when we get into certain positions you may feel something and then it eventually goes away Using your hands, you're going to help lift you up. Coming into tabletop position, so remember, shoulders and wrists are stacked, knees and hips, and we're bringing our knees out into a hip width distance, so not have them touch. Not very good, and now find good, nice foundation. We're going to start with our cat cows. So as we extend, we're going to look up as we inhale. And as we exhale, tucking the chin and rounding the spine. Once again, breathing in and extending up. And as you exhale, you're tucking the chin and rounding. Continuing to move with your breath. And again, if you're feeling a place that needs a little bit more attention and love, you can hang out there for a few breaths. And that in there are certain areas of my spine that's a little tenderer than the other so finding that place a little side movement if you like finding that cat cow that feels good kind of adding that movement allowing for blood flow as we're slowly creating heat in our bodies. Still moving, still breathing. As we inhale, extend and look up. And as you exhale, you're tucking around. Very good. Finding your stillness back in that tabletop position. We're going to come into our downward dog. So tucking the toes, pushing up the hips nice and high. As we come into our downward dog, kind of settling in, make sure your feet are about the hip width apart of the mat. Heels are slightly elevated. We're going to add some movement. So keeping one leg straight, bending one knee back and forth, walking it out. 
gazing behind you, pushing the head through, shaping the head yes, or maybe no, bending both knees and straightening out, whatever is feeling good for your body today. stillness we're gonna get on those toes walk one foot at a time so we can meet ourselves at the tops of our mats and forward fold coming into our forward fold letting the upper body hang heavy letting it be like a rag doll let the arms just hang dead weight as well as the head and neck and then if you want you can grab hold of the elbows look gentle Sway side to side. And then see what feels good, what's presenting in your body. Maybe some areas that need a little bit more love. Letting that head and neck hang heavy. more breaths here letting that upper body get a little closer down towards that lower body and then nice and slowly one vertebrae at a time slowly come on up good from here, we're going to go ahead and bring our hands to the side. We're going to inhale the arms up. So on diving down back into forward fold. We're going to flatten that back. Inhale, halfway lift, holding here, checking, making sure your shoulder blades are down and back, creating that L shape with your body easing slightly in front of you. So that's the other thing too, is that you wanna keep that neck neutral and long. As we exhale, we're gonna round, coming back into forward fold. Inhale, come up into halfway lift, brushing the shins, coming up halfway, creating that flat back, pushing the hips away from you, keeping that neck neutral and long. As we exhale, rounding the spine. Few more reps here. Inhale to halfway lift, holding it there. Shoulder blades away from the ears. And as we exhale, we round. Two more like that. Inhale, halfway lift. Brushing the shins, coming just to halfway, creating that L shape, pulling the shoulder blades away from the ears. And as we exhale, we round. And one more, inhale, halfway lift, brushing the shins, pulling the shoulder blades away from the ears, gazing forward of an angle down in front of you. And then as we exhale, we round. And then nice and slowly, one vertebrae at a time, make your way to the top. All right, from here, we're gonna go into our side bend. So arms are gonna be lifted, inhale, bring the arms up, interlace. So remember how we're doing this is that we're gonna interlace our fingers, pointer fingers staying pointed, and then our thumbs are crossing. So bringing them up, bicep to ear, little side bend here. We're gonna take a breath and as we exhale, shift our hips to the left as we lean towards the right. Gazing forward. Biceps to ear, pushing the hips towards the left as we lean towards the right. Gazing front, toes and heels together, make sure that they're locked. Gripping down with your toes, keeping a good solid base. Breathing through it. 
you may not be moving a whole lot and that's okay the goal here is just passive movement so with each breath little by little sinking a little deeper good inhale to rise and as we exhale we switch sides now this time our hips are pushing to the right as we lean towards the left Again, nice deep breaths, gazing forward. We're thinking about pushing the hips to the right as we're side bending to the left. Trying to keep the arms straight, biceps to ears as best as you can. As we're here focusing, gazing forward, nice deep breaths. more breaths inhale up now we're gonna go backwards so keeping the arms there letting the head drop push the hips forward squeeze the glutes and let the arms go back as we bend backwards nice deep breaths squeezing the glutes make sure that the hips and glutes are Flexing because they support the spine. Take this nice and gently. Find as far that works for you. And then slowly bring yourself up. Arms by the side as we swan dive down. Forward fold. Taking a second here. Moving the head and neck. Good arms by the side. Inhale up. Bringing those arms up. Side bending again. So putting our fingers in the same position. Inhales to exhale, lean it to the right, gazing forward. So pushing the hips towards the left, leaning towards the right. Nice deep breaths. As you're here, chest is lifted, biceps to ears as best as you can, gripping down with your toes. Nice deep breaths, squeeze those hips, push them. As you hear and breathe. Good on your inhale back up. Other side. Left. Pushing the hips towards the right now. Slight lean towards the left. Focusing on that breath, easing forward. Keep pushing the hip towards the right as you're leaning towards the left. Arms are straight as best as you can. Biceps to ears. Good, and inhale up one more time. Taking it to the right, pushing the hips towards the left. As you exhale. Inhale up, and as we exhale, push the hips towards the left, leaning, I'm sorry, towards the right as you lean towards the left. Good, and breathe, and inhale up, and we swan dive down, coming back into forward fold. I've got an early we're going to walk those feet just slightly apart so they're about hip width. This time we're going to bend the knees so we can hook our big thing, our fingers onto our big toes. Dropping that head and neck, let it hang heavy. And then start to pull on your legs. Our, our vision is trying to have that upper body close to the lower body here. As you're trying to keep them connected while you're straightening out the legs. Good, and 
breathe. Nice deep breaths. Sinking into that stretch. Lengthening through the low back, hips, and the back of the legs. Let that head and neck hang heavy. Good, and then gently release, bringing those feet and heels together, knees nice and tight, bending of the knees, arms down, back, and then up, coming into our chair. So as we sit into our chair, we're squeezing the knees, thighs are working here, weight is on, balls and heels, so a nice even distribution of weight, reaching up nice and high, lengthening through the spine, so nice neutral spine, we're not curling, not hyperextending are lifted, gazing forward. Nice deep breaths. As we're holding here, gazing forward, keeping that meditation. Check in with your mind, see where it's at. Bring it back. If it's wandered off, bring your hands to heart center. Adding that spinal twist, we're going to start with that right elbow. Take a breath and as you exhale, get low so you can place it on top of that left knee, twisting and looking over the left shoulder. So we're staying low here, gazing behind you, behind that left shoulder. As you're here and breathe. Good, keep breathing, keep holding. Apply pressure with the palms as we Look behind that left shoulder. Inhale to rise, taking it to the other side. So left elbow to right knee as we get low, twisting, looking over that right shoulder. Keeping that focus, mind on the asana pose. As the palms stay together, twisting, looking over that right shoulder. Taking those nice deep breaths. That way you can get that oxygen to the working muscles. Good, and inhale back. Raising the arms up one more time. We're going to come up to our toes. And then... Bend the knees a little bit, trying to stay in our chair pose, but on our tippy toes as you hold. Good, and then release down. Whew, all right. Great sip of water if you'd like. Moving on into our eagle pose. All right, eagle facing you guys. Um, we want to make sure for this one we are getting nice and low. That way we can wrap our arms around. So starting with the right arm, we're going to take it underneath and wrap it. Get nice and low, kind of like in our chair. Take that left foot and wrap it around. Remember guys, using your toes to help you. If you can't make all five toes wrap around, totally fine. This is where you can grab that chair, that wall, if you need that support for balance. Elbows stacked on top of knees. All right, take a breath, inhale, get low. Swing down and around. If the faster you go, the more of a wrap you can make. Making sure those hands are together, fingertips together getting low, taking that left leg up and over, wrapping it around the right leg and getting low and holding there. As we're holding, squeezing the knees together, elbows are nice and tight. Elbows are stacked on top of knees. And as I'm here, I'm breathing, focusing on my stillness, 
looking at something that isn't moving. Gazing forward, keeping that neck neutral and long. As you hold here, breathe. Keep that focus, staring at something that isn't moving helps. Keeps that mind centered. Squeezing of the knees. If you've fallen out of it, just slowly make your way back. And then inhale, release, arms are up. Straight to the other side, left arm rounds. Let it wrap around. Get those hands to kind of be together, fingertips together, getting nice and low. Taking that right leg up and over. Around the left and holding it low. Elbow stacked on top, knees, chest up. <sighs> Breathing, gazing forward, staring at something that isn't moving to help with balance. As you're here, keep that focus. Remember, it's just you and your pose. As you get familiar with these new ones, the goal is just to see if you can improve just a little bit from your last time. Maybe just being able to be on one foot or even just wrapping the arms, whatever it may be. Just allow yourself to improve just a little. Slowly release the legs, inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms by the side. All right, staying here for our extended, oh no, I'm sorry, we're gonna go towards the back a little bit of our mat because we're doing our standing hand to toe. So this is the one where we're gonna start with our standing leg, starting with the right knee up nice and high. We're gonna come nice and low, grab a hold, interlace. Remember, if you can't make it here, you can always hold up top or even get it close to you. The point of this is just balance, is that standing leg. So if you're ready, come join me. Bring that knee up. If you can, try to grab and interlace underneath. And then as you exhale, the goal is to kick out. Squeeze that quad, walk both knees out straight if you can. Creating that L with both arm, with both two legs. As we hold here and breathe. Go ahead, keep that focus. Couple more breaths. And then slowly come out of that. Woo! It's pretty intense on that standing leg. So at any point, if you'd fall out out of it, totally fine. Just. Slowly come back if you can. Left leg walks out, right knee up. Switching sides, getting low to grab hold. And then when ready, kicking out. Again, kicking that right leg, locking out the knee, both legs if you can. As you hold it there, squeeze the quad. Breathe. Focusing on something that isn't moving. Oops. Keeping that focus. Using that wall or a chair if needed. And then exhale slowly. Bring yourself down. Whew. All right, very nice. And then we're turning back towards this middle. We've got extended hand to toe. Starting with our right leg. Remember, you can hold here, arm to the side. You can even extend out the knee if you'd like, just to hold there as a modification. But if you're ready, bring that knee up, grab a hold with your two fingers onto the big toe, squeezing that right leg, that kneecap slightly lifts up. And if you're ready, go ahead and kick out. Hold it, breathe. Focus on something that is moving, gripping down with all five toes. Just lift it, hold it there. Nice 
Six deep breaths. Good, and then slowly bring it to the middle and down. All right, taking it to the other side. Ripping down with all five toes. Grab a hold, hold it there. Extend out, and then when ready, kick. Gazing forward, staring something that isn't moving as you're here and breathing. Nice deep breaths. to our standing bow pose. Remember, so we did not hold the foot from the outside. That, every, it's a natural quad stretch that we do, but we're grabbing the foot from the inside part. So let's start with that right foot being the standing leg, left foot, grab a hold from the inside. And if you're holding on to a wall or chair, you can always do this assisted. If you're doing it freestanding like me, arm comes up, fingertips are together, palm facing away, so same way as your heart. And when you're ready, we're gonna kick and reach. So kicking and reaching forward, kicking up while we reach forward. Breathe through, you kick and reach. Good, keep going, kicking and reaching. If you've fallen out, slowly you can break yourself back. Good, and one more breath, and slowly bring yourself down all right other side left legs the standing leg bring the foot from the inside bring those feet together Ooh. I want to make sure that you're stable first the left arm reaches high palm facing the same way as your heart and begin to kick into hand reach up palm fingertips facing forward as you actively reach and then kick back so reaching with the left as you kick up with the right foot squeezing of the left quad making it nice and strong hold here got a few more breaths slowly bring yourself down awesome make your way towards the back of your mat we're going to do our warrior fruit three but with our arms in that um, prayer position but arms overhead so that's where fingertips are going to interlace pointer finger is going to be pointing but then thumbs are going to cross so let's start placing with the arms first we take a breath, bring that right foot forward, and as we exhale, we come down. So squeeze that quad, point the left toes, reaching with the hands. So creating that T as best as you can. Gazing down, keeping that neutral long with your neck. Good, reaching back, reaching forward. And then inhale, slowly bring yourself back. All right, other side, keeping the arms where they are, bring that left foot forward. We take a breath and then we come down. Pointing with the back toes, reaching with the arms. Hips stay squared. Gaze down to keep that neck neutral. 
bracing with the abs as you reach forward and back. Good, keeping it there. Inhale, back up, arms by the side. Wonderful, all right, facing the right side of our mats. We're gonna get into that wide straddle, toes, toes pointed forward, arms at the waist. As we come down, remember if you wanna use that block, I'm a big fan, because then I can think of crown of the head resting. Two fingers are gonna hook onto our big toes. Taking a breath, and as you exhale, push the hips back, leading with the heart, slowly come on down. Release, grabbing hold of your big toes, using the arms to pull the upper body down while the legs are locked out straight. Easing behind you as you're here and breathing. Deep breaths here. Keep those legs locked out. Squeeze those quads. Use those arms. Pulling the body down. Releasing of the hands, and inhale, placing at the waist, up. Coming into our extended side angle, rotating that right foot forward. So now we're facing the backs of our mats. Arms are gonna extend it out into a T, take a breath, and as you exhale, getting low. So this might mean you have to walk that uh, front foot a little bit more forward, taking that right arm, placing it down as you reach forward towards the back of the room, back of the mat with that left arm. So resting it here, placing that right hand next to the foot if you can, using a block if you like, or placing it all the way down if you can. So finding that level works for you. Always looking down at the foot first, and then when ready, gazing towards the side of the room. Squeeze that left quad, lock out the knee as we're here and breathing. Nice deep breaths, trying to bring the hips down. And as we hold, you can add that bind, placing the hand on the back, arm underneath, interlace and hold here. Muscles work. Good and slowly release. <clears throat> Inhale to rise. All right, we're going to rotate that front foot forward, back foot perpendicular. Arms out to the T. Take a breath, and as we exhale, come on down, placing the left hand on that thigh as you reach across inner part of the foot with a block, water bottle, whatever support you have. Stack of books if you'd like. Or if you can, placing that hand right next to that front foot as you reach. So finding that works for you. Holding it there. Getting nice and low with the hips. Gazing towards the side of the room. Palms facing down, fingertips together as you reach forward. And if you want, if you're ready, adding that bind. Right arm goes behind while the left goes down and around. Holding it here and breathing. feet just a little bit and then back so we are back to our wide straddle 
We're gonna go ahead and interlace our hands behind us, and placing that ball back, taking a breath. And as you exhale, slowly coming down, thinking crown of the head towards the mat, and then keeping the legs and arms straight, start to bring that arms away from the body. And as we're here, letting gravity take over, Works through the shoulders. Nice deep breaths. Good. Continuing to breathe. We're thinking squeezing those quads, locking up those knees, letting the arms just go as far back as they feel good. Slowly bring the arms back into the body, flattening out the back and release, adding a twist here. So keeping the right arm down, using that black or just placing it all the way down if you'd like. Inhale to rise, we're gonna bring the left arm up, reach up nice and tall. So still in straddle, we're just adding a spinal twist here. We push down with the right, reaching up with the left. Nice deep breaths. Setting that left arm down, switching side. Inhale, right arm up. Nice and reach up, nice and tall with the right arm as you're pushing down with the left. Good. Twisting, looking up towards that hand. And as you exhale, bring it on down. Flat that back, arms by the side. Inhale to rise looking forward, stepping the feet together. All right, we're gonna move into our pyramid, the last two standing asanas. So we're gonna start with that right foot going back. We give ourselves a, you know, a few feet, that way right foot is perpendicular, but our hips are squared, we're coming into pyramid. Arms are gonna reach up, take a breath, a little bit of that front foot, as you slowly come down. So we're thinking forehead or chin to knee, thinking about kind of tucking that chin so you can feel a little bit of that kind of a choke sensation. And the goal is to keep that forehead there as you try to straighten out the knee. Continuing to breathe. Try to keep that connection as you try to straighten out the leg. a few more breaths. Try to keep those hips squared. Go slowly re-bend. Inhale to rise. Bringing your hands and feet together at the top. Other side. Left foot goes back now. Quarter of a turn. Hips are squared. Both legs are straight to begin. Arms come up. And as we exhale, a little bend of that front foot, leading with the hands coming all the way down, placing forehead to knee, keeping it there as you try to straighten that front leg. Again, keeping those hips squared, eyes are open, hips with balance. You're here and breathing. and slowly bend, inhale to rise, bringing your hands and feet together at the top. All right, we have tree pose, starting with our right leg being the standing leg. So remember, placing that foot at the ankle or at the calf, placing it on top of the thigh or on, or on the side of the thigh or on top if you choose to. You can hold it if you'd like to be there. 
I'm going to place it on top of that thigh, pressing it, and then hold. As I'm holding my tree, trying to find that stillness, locking out the right leg, the gaze forward, bracing with my core. My abs are working here. I'm thinking belly button to spine. And then if you want, you can bring the arms up nice and high, reaching up, nice tall posture, gaze forward. side so placing that foot in the same location as the previous foot to match sides finding that stillness first gazing forward keeping that neck neutral and long it's all about ripping down with all five toes finding that balance and then if you're ready to add the arms reaching up Chest lifted, holding it here. Awesome job, everybody. Make your way down onto the mats. We're gonna come into Savasana, so go ahead and lay on your back for me. And release, relax for a second. Just let it all go. Letting the body melt onto the mat. On all that tension, release. Mm. All right, we're going to go ahead and bring that right knee in towards the outside part of your uh, chest. So remember, we're not driving the knee in towards outer part where the um, armpit area is. Interlace your fingers, taking a breath, and as you exhale, slowly pull towards you keeping the elbows tucked in and then we also want to tuck the chin to the chest that way the neck stays neutral and long squeeze and hold here but keep holding a few more breaths and squeeze letting the legs relax arms are the only thing working here taking it to the other side. So left knee comes in, interlace your fingers, breath in and exhale. I'm doing the same thing now on the left side. So knee towards the left armpit area, elbow stay tucked in, squeeze the arms, from bringing that knee towards you as best as you can as you hold there. and breathing and squeeze. Good, and then gently release. Bringing both knees in. Grab hold of opposite elbows. Giving yourself a tight squeeze. Drawing the face in towards the knees as you hold here. Giving yourself a nice big hug. Breathe and hold. Good, and then gently release. We're gonna straighten the legs up, point the toes, arms by the side for support. As we slowly bring the legs down, working through our abs here, fighting gravity all the way down until you can't. Hold it any 
Oh, all right, we're doing flutter cake. So we're holding our, cell, our hands down, little elevation of the upper body as we kick up and down. Up and down is one, we're doing 15. Ready and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, bring those knees in a little rock forward and back. Come up and have a seat. Extend out the legs. Come into forward fold. Reach up, inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, reaching for those toes, dropping that head and neck. So remember reaching for the shins. If you can't reach your feet, grab hold of the ankles, dropping the head and neck. And if you can grab the feet, hanging on to those, using the arms to help pull the upper body down. Nice deep breaths. Do here and breathing. And allow your body to get deeper into that stretch with each exhale. Using those arms to help pull the upper body down. And inhale to come on up. All right, we're going to switch over to our bellies. So go ahead and come on down. You're going to extend your arms out into a T. We're going to come into our lotus pose. So that's the one like as if we're flying in the air. Legs are going to be straight. Um, toes and feet together, arms by the side, and all together, ready, inhale to rise. So you're squeezing the glutes, feet together, reaching up, working through the back muscles here, and holding here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, dropping that right ear onto the mat, arms by the side, and rest. Moving on into bow pose. So for this one, we're bending the knees a lot, grabbing hold of our ankles. Remember, on the outside part now, kicking into our hands as we slowly lift that chest. Ready, and inhale, and up. So you're kicking up, squeezing with the leg muscles, the back, as you kick and reach up nice and high. Hold it here for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring it down. Left ear to mat, arms by the side as you relax. All right, bringing the hands underneath you. I'll push you up. Bring the knees forward and wide, as wide as your mat. Toes together, pushing the hips back. Arms reaches forward, and we're dropping that forehead and neck down for our wide child's pose. Resting the arms, dropping that forehead down. 
nice deep relaxation here letting the body go letting the chest just fall more deeper than it would have been if our knees were together Inhale, bring it on up. This is our one with that quad stretch that's really, could be really invasive to the knees. So again, taking some precautions here. The goal is to sit in between your heels as best as you can. So for myself, I'm a little tight. So I'm placing a block. You can um, sit on a towel or something else this allows you to be slightly elevated to help you still feel that stretch and if you're a person that has no problem and you can sit all the way down the goal would be to see if you can get onto your forearms or even possibly lay all the way down while I'm not if you're not supported with the block even so being here leaning back Nice and slowly using the arms to kind of bring you on up. Okay, bringing yourself onto the knees now for camel. This one is another back bend, so we want to make sure our feet are creating that 90 degrees. We're going to start by pushing the hips forward. It's all about tightening the glutes, hamstrings, and low back to help support you as you go back. Take a breath. As you exhale, hips forward, reaching behind you, grabbing hold of those ankles, looking back and holding here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring yourself up. Okay, and down. All right, coming onto our backs. Have a seat. I'm bringing the knees into the chest, a little rock side to side. Keeping those knees at 90 degrees, arms up into a T. We're going to start by letting the knees fall to the right side, placing that right arm onto the knees. As you twist and look over the left shoulder. And as you're twisting, breathing, along the spine to elongate. Still having that right arm extended, twisting and looking over that right shoulder. and then bring it back center grabbing hold of those knees little rock side to side and grabbing for happy baby so hands are reaching towards the outer part of your foot letting the knees roll out to the side little rock side to side as you breathe
extend out those legs, let them fall long. Arms by the side as we rest here in our final savasana. As we lay here, as you settle in, finding that stillness, we begin to focusing, relaxing that forehead, letting that tension go. Down the jaw, relaxing that jaw, letting the tongue touch the tips of your mouth. Relaxing the shoulders, let them melt into the mats, as well as the hips, down the knees, ankles, and the toes. Focusing on that inhalation, nice deep breathing as you breathe in. There may be a slight pause before you exhale it all out. Continue to focus on each intentional breath as you lay here in stillness. start to awaken, start by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Roll over to one 
side. Creating a pillow with the arm underneath. Well done, everybody. Namaste. Wonderful work this week. Into your day two of Hatha Yoga. Don't, reflect, don't, re don't forget about your reflections, and I will see you guys all next week.